you make, Vesper? Mm, a chipmunk target you for did. blow guns. For blow gun? You're gonna, oh, I thought you were going to practice with your bow. Mm, no, it would tear this. It's really floppy. Wow. You've been making stuff in here? Yeah. I got my bow ready. Uh, it's getting close to squirrel season, so we, we're going to take our bows out and do some little practicing. We got to get these kitties here a bow killed squirrel this year, or at least dry. You guys got to practice though. I got my tie on. I'm going to whip out the Oneida and take some shots. So let's do her. Well, Axe is over there whizzing. All right, so Vesper's gonna take a shot here. Vesper, let's see what let's see your bow you're gonna hunt with this year. I got them here. Hold it up there. They are bear. Just let me see that thing. Yeah. Actually, don't even say bear royals up on the top limb there with some dust on the limbs because you haven't shot in a while. She decided she wanted to try out some sights, and I got her a four-finger true fire release. She's shooting this thing really good. It says it right here. I'm gonna. I got her set up. These are gonna be her hunting arrows. They're gold tip 500s. They look like tra stick. traditional. Yeah. And I'm gonna put a hundred. Probably a hundred grain. Maybe 125. I don't know. I got some hundred grain two blades that I'm going to screw in there, get razor sharp, because that's what she's going to need. But you, sister, you've got to do some shooting to build your muscles up. Or sever. Here. That front triangle near that front shoulder on that deer. Huh? The all brown spot. I want you to shoot that where you were shooting yesterday. Just in front of all that foam. Okay. Just nice and smooth. Relax grip. Lay your fingertips on the front of the riser. There you go. Did that feel good? Yeah. You want to do another one? Yeah. Axel, he got the same bow, but I got it in... Um... Camo. Yeah, what camo is that? Uh, I can't remember what camo that is. Doesn't really matter. But they are, they're bear royals. They'll go up to like 45 or 50 pounds, I believe. Daddy. So, yeah, here, go ahead. <clears throat> oh, you shot high that time, didn't you? I don't know why. I'm okay, high. Axe, turn her loose. Why am I hitting high? There you go, dude. First shot of the day. First shot of the day. Come over here in front of me. Okay. Okay. Get steady on that deer and don't drop your bow arm. Where'd that hit? Oh, you did? You got him hit, in the gut. Hit him in the liver, didn't you? Yep. Good shooting. Hey, come here. While this is rolling, take the camera and I'll shoot that deer. Okay. Get it right over my shoulder. Okay. I can't really see it. Hmm? Don't worry about seeing it. Just get off to the side, okay? Right in there. That would have smoked that little doe. Vesper hit high on her shots. I just tied her on a new loop. I hit low. Dad hit I mean, at least it didn't hit the wood. There's Axel shots. These were the first shots of the day. Stink, you're just a little bit high, ain't you? Yep, these are my two shots. I don't know why. It don't matter why. We're going to shoot again, and Here's we're going to see if you're shots. grouping. All right, this is 15 yards, and uh, Vesper's going to shoot again. Shoot at the red ball on that rope. Not. Not ball. Same thing. It simulates a ball. Don't tell me. Just shoot your bow. 
There you go. Your your uh, left and right's perfect. You hit a little bit high. Here, now now this time make another good shot, okay? And we'll see if you're grouping that high. It could be that we tied on your new loop. Although it's almost exactly the same and it shouldn't matter that much. But it could. It could make that much of a difference. Try, try to watch my arm because sometimes it might go up. Okay. Well, just hover your pin on that knot and I want you to push and pull till, that's, till your shot breaks, okay? Just lay your thumb on there. Push, pull, and let her go. Look at that. You grouped it perfect. Hmm. We gotta, we gotta raise your side up. Okay. Oh, I got the deuce here, chin. Here, here, hold, hold this, and I'll shoot another one. I got the deuce chin. You want me to go for the knot? Yeah. You might make it perfect. I should be able to hit this. These, this is the kind of stuff you need to do if you're gonna hunt small game, or even big game, because really your target is always the same size, isn't it? Yep. Even if it's a chipmunk or a deer. You still want to shoot for your target, and your target's always it's always that big. So always shoot for the center of what you want. So I'm going to go for the center of the rope, and I haven't been shooting much, but I'm going to get real steady and just drop the string on this old Phoenix bow here. You want it, Stink? Yes. Hit just a touch high, and I kind of felt I was holding just a hair high. Still in the ballpark. There's Vesper's group. Here's She's my, grouping that high. Here's my shot. Hey, that, that's good shooting. That means you're doing the same thing every time, you know it? That didn't go in. Hey, you're fine. And I shot the deer's chin. Yep. So on Vesper's bow, she's got some shooting to do to get her muscles built up. Yep. We only got it set at about 25 pounds right now. Oh, that's when, enough. To, that's enough to kill a deer. Yeah, you that's can kill a deer at 25 what? pounds. What was your first deer? What are you doing, Axe? Golf swing? Hey, hold on to this. Okay. Let's see if I can get this knot. I just just shot just a little bit over it. And guys, this is my same old setup. I've, if you've watched any of the videos, you've seen it. <laughs> no sights and fingers. Put out the bow. Yeah. There we go. Nice shot. Had to hold and get real steady. So I knew I was going to smoke it. Aim right at the knot, monkey. You're still right up there. I think we're going to shut this puppy down and we're going to move her sight. I got to go get some tools out of the little bow shop box. All right, like I said, if you guys ever have any questions about the way I shoot or whatever, because I know a lot of people don't do that, but I can answer whatever I can, whatever info I can give to you will surely be helpful but i've showed it to you a bunch there it is just flip a rest i glued some leather on here when i'm stalking or whatever i put the arrow down here so i don't bend my little flipper arm yep. there's my knock point mm -hmm. and i make my own strings they're out of 452x and that's about it gold tip 300s with a AAE hybrid 26 veins or feathers and and that's that's it this bow here is set at 50 pounds it's like 50.79 or some crap on that little handheld scale and uh, I'm gonna hunt with like I usually do the sever 1.5s and this year I'm gonna hunt with which I've always hunted with them in the past. These are Grizz Trick 125 grains and, and the Slick Trick Magnums. 
the slick tricks always all fly the same even that big slick uh, slick trick grizz trick that thing rips a big hole dude i shot that doe last year with her with one of them head on i got that on the video if you want to go back and check it out that doe came in facing me put her head down i shot her right through the top of the shoulder because she dropped her front end in the creek it was about a 20 yard shot and it went all the way through it and came out by her back leg cool isn't that pretty neat? Yeah. Did you eat some of her already? Oh, I think so. Yeah. All right, so we're going to adjust Vesper's sight. If you've never adjusted a sight, when you're sighting your bow in, assuming you're, you've got a good tuned arrow, when you move your sight around, you just follow the arrow. Move your pin to where your arrows are grouping. Here, hold this. Hold this, and let's, let's adjust your sight. Okay. <laughs> Hit myself in the freaking face with your bow, Steve. Oh I'm used to having a little recurve limb tip down here to hold the, the bottom end steady, not some wheel. So we'll break that loose and we'll raise it up just a little bit. Remember, go in small increments, then also check the rest of your bolts make sure everything's tight okay Holmes turn her loose okay, okay goodbye walnut I might have got hey it. hey keep all them walnuts right there when a lot of them fall we can pick them up Shoot and them. dry them suckers out and eat them Ooh, you like walnuts I never ate them before yeah you have okay hopefully this works all right hey real steady hold hover your pin on that knot till the shot breaks okay good shooting stink you're up and down's good now you just hit a little bit off to the right come on knock that arrow up You mean side to side? Your left and right, yeah. Ugh. Steady monkey. I need another slice. Good shooting. She grouped off to the right that time. But that's good shooting for you not shooting in a while. We gotta get ready. Here I go. Turn or lose, Axe. Don't drop your Kill that deer. On. Good shot. We're gonna do a couple more shots with Vesper's bow. I was gonna show you. This is an old Apex Gear sight. And I only have her one pin on there. I want another. You don't need another pin. Because using one pin on your bow when she wants to judge distance, you gotta learn your bow, not just with a range finder. Kind of an instinctive feel, like back in the old days. Instead of going off something mechanical all the time and having to think you have to have a range finder on you. When you're deer hunting, you'll be able to look and be like, oh man, that's like 30 yards. I'm going to hold a little high and you're still going to smoke that deer. It'll, it's, it'll make you a better bow hunter, okay? Dead center, wasn't it? Is that right where you're aiming in that deer's nose? Yeah. Okay, here, hang on. I'm tired. No, you're Vesper. <laughs> you want this to be your last shot? <laughs> yeah. Axe, what are we gonna do later? Play 18 holes. We're going golfing? Yep. <laughs> yeah, we've been golfing a lot. My best round so far is an 86, and I just started. I figured that's pretty good. I did shoot 45 before. Ah, uh, you dropped your arm a little bit, maybe? Or what do you think happened? Okay, this evening we'll shoot a few more, okay? Okay.
Can we get back? All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna walk over and check out these hogs. I haven't showed you guys them suckers. I showed you when they were babies, and when uh, about a month ago. So we're gonna go check them out. We're gonna take our bows over there. Maybe I'll drop a couple in at long range or something. We're walking up on the big porkers over here. Done a lot of wood splitting. Got the barn full. These guys are getting big. He's getting really big. The young lady there, she's a... Pretty big. Sweet. Red. <laughs> Yeah, he's a big old mattress back, ain't he? Yeah. Here, eat this. Eat the cat. He's gonna try to eat anything. These hogs. Yeah, you can you can feed them hogs anything you want. They're just hogs. They'll, Wild hogs eat everything. They'll root for all kinds of stuff. They'll even eat their babies. Yeah, they do do that. What are you doing, sir? Sir, don't tell me you're hungry. I mean, they're pretty destructive. You got to watch the fences and stuff. Yeah, their water bowl, I got them, but they shove it all the way over there. Yep. I throw dead logs in there. They push them around. They make their noses stronger, Dad. How did they move it over there? They nose it around. With nose. Your nose pathway. All right, I'm going to go over here. With nose. Okay. Let's go back here and find a spot to take a couple shots, see where I hit. How far do you want me to shoot from, Max? Vesper, come here. And old stinker, she made a made a little bird's nest here yeah. with a with a little glass bird. We found a baby bird once. You it, did? All the way back to here in the shade. Okay. Hey, you want to hold on to this? Sure. We're back at some yardage. Like 75 or 80 or whatever. We got a few rocks. Whatever. Poor baby bird. I might even miss. Oh. I ain't shot back here in a while. During the summer, like I want to, like some guys, like all the TV guys, they get to go on hunts, go boar hunting during the summer. Hell, I gotta go to work. And Axe is over here digging. Look at him. So we just pre hi. we just pretend like we're on hunts in the yard, don't we? Mm -hmm. And then when deer season comes in and squirrels and rabbits come, then we start hunting our our critters around here. Yeah. And we always have enough meat to get to get by, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Let's see where I can hit. I'm taking her downtown. I'm building a jump here. Excuse me. I I lost my orange veins in my orange foam job, but I think I hit like like two feet low. Aim higher. Oh I know. I haven't shot back here in a while, monkey. We've been doing projects. Alright, ne next arrow. All right, well, I hit a little left, but I found my range on that second shot. If the deer had a head and neck, then I would have uh, hit it. But we'll walk up there, I'll show you. It really don't matter. I just want to see what I could do back here. I haven't shot back here at this long distance in like, I uh, dude, like two months or something. I just have been trying to lay off shooting all the time. 
me and Axel been golfing. Dad, I got boring. And Dad. oh, it's not boring. Dad, I got it's pretty fun going golfing, golfing, dude. You start trying to be accurate because it's kind of an instinctive. Um, it's an instinctive sport, and it requires you to do better, not just as a team. That's why that I want Axel bad. to get into it too, <laughs> along with archery, of course. But you got to have something to change it up. Watch out for that big pile of duck shit, X. So, yeah, I, I'm going to walk up here just to the way I shot. Just so you know, you guys, when you don't shoot at long range all the time, you kind of takes you a few arrows to get back into the groove. So, look, there was that orange one. I'm just low. And that... That white one, it fell in there. I ain't gonna stand out here and try to trick everybody into saying, into thinking that I just smoked the first two, but it's freaking hot out here. And we're gonna end it there. I just wanna let you know we're all still out here practicing. And you guys should too. And here shortly, we're gonna come at you with some squirrel hunts on video. Uh, and deer hunts. Yeah, but yeah, but squirrels first. What I want to get dove? some squirrel bow hunts going. And dove. Yeah, dove's coming in September. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or any anything you want to know about the uh, Oneida Eagle bows, they're, they're neat. And when you have a big Martin Super Quiver and that you just thump stuff, then, then they'll stand up on their own like that. We'll see you guys later.